Hello everyone. I want to welcome you back again in my this uh, YouTube channel and I want to talk about all effect and all voltage today in our this class. We will be here bounded with uh, some rule, okay? That we will only study about the Hall effect and Hall voltage and in our practical lab how to take the data okay i will talk only that uh, this much okay this is this will be the limited thing for our today's class so okay uh, now i would like to uh, move towards this explanation of hall effect and hall voltage what do you mean by hall effect and what do you mean by hall voltage but before that let us consider one experiment okay uh, this is a battery okay which is connected with a metallic plate this one is a metallic plate uh, you can see this is all a metallic plate okay from positive to negative terminal along with one reho state okay here will be one reho state because directly we cannot connect connect it to this will be one reho state variable this is the um, connection of a circuit and here is a metallic plate now what if in uh, from the positive to negative direction uh, there is a flow of current uh, convectional direction of current will be this um, although the electron will flow from negative to positive okay as we know all this i uh, think this is not the part of our study but now um, uh, what i want to talk is um, whenever you take a voltmeter and whenever you connect this two terminal okay with the voltmeter this two terminal, okay, the two opposite end of a plate, okay, which is not connected with anyone, uh, but um, electrons are freely allowed to move on that plate. If you connect a voltmeter, then can you uh, get any kind of um, potential difference? What do you think? There will be any kind of potential difference uh, between these two plate? No, there will be no any potential difference because whatever the potential is here, okay, the same potential will be here. There is no any potential difference. So um, it is sure that the current flow from um, convectional direction from positive to negative, okay, through this reho state and this metallic plate, which is uh, actually a semiconductor, uh, which is made up of germanium. Okay, this is the thing. Now, let us make a slightly uh, different uh, figure, okay. Same plate is there, but if you keep a electromagnet over here, okay. If you keep an electromagnet, I'll show this figure later on. If you keep an electromagnet on the other side of that plate, okay. Um, on the other side of that plate, if you keep an electromagnet, okay, that is perpendicularly, okay. Then what happened? Then, um, then. Okay. the electron will be electron flows in this circuit there is there is obviously a reverse state connected over here okay um there is a variable resistance okay let us call it as a reverse state okay it will be connected now um there will be one uh, force acting in this plate okay that force is known as a lorentz force okay that force is known as a lorentz force now, what do this Lorentz force do? Okay, whenever a uh, current will be passed from electron flow from negative to positive terminal. Okay, this is a plate. This plate uh, contain atom. Okay, which is uh, which uh, which contains both proton, uh, neutron, electron. So what happen? Here will be the separation of charge. Okay, in this plate, when will be the separation of charge? As soon as you keep the electromagnet. Then there will be the separation of charge. Okay. Then what happened? If there, if the charge separates, then in one side there will be the accumulation of negative charge, and in other side there will be the accumulation of positive charge. This is due to this electromagnet. Due to uh, it is due to this electromagnet. Okay, magnetic field. Okay, some magnetic field will be act as we know that magnetic lines cross through this plate. From north pole to south pole we know about this okay magnetic lines of force moves from north pole to south pole so as a result there will be the lorentz force and the charge gets separated on the two side of this plate so if the charge gets separate on the two side of the plate then what even if you connect a voltmeter okay 
if you connect a voltmeter, obviously there will be the potential difference. You can see here, okay. Whenever you connect a voltmeter, okay, obviously there is a reverse state. Okay. Uh, variable resistance, no what even. If you connect a voltmeter, here is a, uh, this wire is not joined. It means that it is not uh, joined, just it is uh, crossing the other, okay. If you um, connect a voltmeter, then there will be the potential difference, okay. This potential difference is due to both electric and magnetic field, okay. Such potential difference is measured by a voltmeter and the resulting voltage is known as a all voltage, okay. If you take a voltmeter here, then this will not be a all voltage. This will be the regular voltage which is supplied by this battery. But if you measure a voltage on this terminal, this two terminal, then this two terminal gives you a voltage. That same voltage is known as a all voltage. Okay, I hope I made you clear. Okay, this measurement is known as a all voltage. Now, as we see the diagram in our lab, okay, there will be the connection of, this is the power source battery, okay. Then from here, one terminal will go to micro emitter and from micro emitter to rheostat, from rheostat to this plate, okay. Plate is here between these two electromagnets. Suppose this is a North Pole and this is South Pole. Then what happened? Between this, there is a plate kept with the help of this stand. Okay, let us see. This is the plate which is kept. Here is a real state. Suppose here is a emitter. Okay, this one is micro emitter. Then what happened? This real state varies the current okay, over here. And we'll see at what current, okay, at what uh, micro um, emitter reading of a current, what type of all voltage will be produced. Okay, that is the thing to be known. So I want to explain about this. It is uh, this circuit looks very much complicated, but if you see this figure, then the circuit will become easy. See here, from positive, it go it have gone to emitter, micro emitter, from micro emitter to one point of rayo state, and from the output of rayo state, okay, it have gone to the plate, and from another side directly, it is connected to that plate, okay. From one one terminal of this battery is directly connected with the plate. Okay, and uh, the other one is connected through this micro emitter reference state and this plate. Okay, now what even? Now from that same plate, okay, the twist is there in plate. From that same plate, it is connected to the voltmeter, okay, which is used to measure a all voltage. You can see this is a voltmeter. From here, the wire is coming, okay, it finally goes to the plate to other side of a plate. Okay, you can see this where this. Uh, two point of a battery is being connected and where this all voltage reading is connected, okay? This is the experimental arrangement of this thing. You can see here is a plate, okay? Inside this, there is a germanium, okay? And from here, um, this is a probe. This measures all voltage, okay? And what is this? This is the, uh, this supplies current to this electromagnet. Okay. It is a source of current and we can vary here voltage, we can vary here current of this also. Now in this experiment, what we will do, we'll vary the voltage of this source, okay, which, which uh, we will vary the voltage which is given to the electromagnet because electromagnet also needs a source, okay. I'm not talking about this voltage source. This voltage source, we may vary or we may not vary, it is upon our choice. Okay, but we'll vary the voltage of this. And uh, as you vary the voltage, then what happens? The power of electromagnet, okay, also varies because it is supplied to electromagnet. It is the source of electromagnet. So you see here how we measure the experiment. It is given us, given to us. Actually, it should not be given. It is measured, okay. Uh, how this data is measured, I'll talk with you, okay. There will be one probe, okay, to measure a voltage. Suppose uh, there will be one probe to measure a magnetic flux. At what voltage? At zero voltage, the electromagnet produce 110 gauze of magnetic flux. Okay. And at 20 volt, it produce 750 gauze. At 50 volt, it produce 1560 gauze. Okay. Similarly, at 130, it produce 5280 gauze of uh, this magnetic field over here. 
So as the magnetic field increases, what happens? As the magnetic field increases, the Hall voltage also need to be increased. So this is our point of strain. Now what we will do is first we'll keep this voltmeter okay to zero volt because our first reading we have the magnetic flux at zero volt. We cannot keep at 10 volt because we don't know this value. Okay, we cannot take average also. Okay, we don't know from zero to it, it may not be a constant reading, so we cannot take a average. Okay. What we'll do is we'll take um, actually I want to show here. This is the voltage source. Okay, we'll keep the voltage at two volt or four volt, whatever we like, and we'll vary the resistance. Okay, at this is fixed at zero volt once. Okay, we'll vary the resistance and the current microammeter current we note. Okay, at what microammeter current the zero volt supply of this? So what type of all voltage will record this? And again, we'll vary this at same zero volt. We'll take uh, the variation of this uh, current. Okay, at the variation of current, we'll notice each and every time the whole voltage. Suppose I want to make you clear at zero volt, we'll see, we'll fix this at zero volt. We'll vary the current. Okay, and we'll take five six reading from here. At what microammeter current? What voltage? At what microammeter current? What voltage? What microammeter current? What voltage? Because resistance is there variable resistance okay we can vary this and the current um, uh, also will be varies at what current what type of voltage is there okay finished our work finished so after that we'll keep this uh, electromagnet voltage supply to 20 volt by this okay we'll keep it to 20 volt and again we'll repeat the same experiment at what current okay what voltage at what current what voltage you may think it's same but the voltage supply is different okay so we are trying to take a multiples of data and we are going to study and we want to conclude our experiment through this data. Okay. Similarly, we'll, we will take for 50 volt and similarly we'll take for 80 volt. Similarly, we'll take for 100 volt. Similarly, we'll take for 130 volt and it will be completed. But do not try to take the, um, uh, the reading uh, at suppose 90 volt because we don't know the magnetic flux at 90 volt okay so this may be unknown actually uh, we should know about the magnetic flux at 90 volt but we do not have such type of arrangement in our practical lab so if you have you can create this one okay what you'll do is there will be one little bit one probe okay like a stick okay you will remove all the experiment you will connect this to 90 volt okay and you will take the probe between these two and you will get the magnetic flux in one device, okay? Magnetic flux measuring instrument. So with that, we can calculate this result, okay? And we can get our answer, okay? I hope I have made you clear in this video, okay? Uh, so <clears throat> I want to talk about here, okay? Um, all voltage and uh, all effect, okay? And the corresponding effect is known as all effect. Okay, uh, semiconductor germanium. We have seen about this figure. After that, we have seen this figure. Okay, after that, this one. After that, this is the experimental setup. It may look complex, but I hope I have made you clear. Okay, from where to where the wire goes. You simply connect there. Okay, you study this plate. Okay, this plate have four different um, uh, terminal. Okay, at two terminal input voltage, at two terminal output voltage will give. Okay. Uh, it is the little bit zoom um, part of this experiment. And uh, this one is the other one. Okay. Okay. I hope uh, I made you clear. Okay. Thank you very much from uh, my heart. Okay. I want to thank you all because you have given sufficient time to read, to increase the knowledge. Okay. I'm sharing my knowledge because uh, my knowledge may not be 100%, um, but I'm trying to give whatever I acquire in this time because uh, it is the valuable experiment of our physics lab so by saying this much i want to thank you all again okay and please do share subscribe and like this video okay okay with the uh, with the support with the help of my friends uh, my brothers okay i want to take a good goodbye from today's class okay thank you very much goodbye